Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to a uh, first look at the new DLC for Command Modern Operations, Cashmere Fire, a DLC which allows you to fight through a near, a near future uh, scenario between India and Pakistan going to war in the year 2024. Uh, this is from the game Command Modern Operations, which is a modern military simulation uh, that looks at uh, any conflict really after World War II and into the near future. It is very much like Harpoon from sort of back in the olden days. Uh, the graphics are very limited. There is a program you can pick up called TacView, which is made by a completely separate company uh, from Warfare Sims, the developers of this game, um, which allows you to have some elements of 3D uh, visuals, uh, although it's not like the same thing as, you know, like IL-2 or DCS. It's more meant just so you can visualize like what's happening as it's happening. Uh, but Command itself uh, fundamentally occurs on these kind of basic 2D maps with various satellite imagery and overlays uh, and critical information that you can gather about the terrain around you. Uh, in that sense, it's kind of like, you know, when you see World War movies or Cold War movies and they put something up on the big board and you see the different icons moving around, that's kind of what this game is. With that being said, this is part two of our first look at the Cashmere Fire DLC. The first mission is called Border Skirmish, and it is putting you in charge of Pakistani Air Force units and one surface-to-surface -surface missile unit. Your objective is to destroy some uh, Indian armored formations of some BMPs and uh, Arjun tanks, I, I'm probably mispronouncing that, that are crossing the border into, in, into uh, Pakistan while also destroying their Ford operating bases. The Ford operating bases are worth the most, the ground elements are worth a little bit less. Um, these strikes are particularly challenging because the enemy has a large number of surface air missile batteries, both handheld and sort of fixed and truck mounted, I believe. With that being said, we are rejoining uh, this uh, particular fight. This is episode number two. In the first fight, it was mostly focused on the Air Force units. We engaged some Indian MiG-29s and Sukolov Su-30 MKIs, uh, which are the most modern aircraft in the Indian Air Force, I believe, at least uh, in the present day. And we've had a fair bit of success with minimal losses against the Indian Air Force, but now that means we've got to start dealing with their SAMs without adequate uh, anti-radiation missiles or anything like that, uh, and without much in the way of standoff munitions. With that being said, let's jump back in. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Let's cancel that plotted course, and we will assign you to Rally Point North. We know this is an enemy SAM. This UAV is dead, so let's try and get something out of it. It's so slow. Alright. Go ahead and engage that enemy MiG. It's all by itself. You tell me you're not going to shoot? Like, I don't know what you're shooting at. You're going to die if you just sit there, so can we manually order him to attack? Imper imprecise target. Doesn't have good enough lock. Whatever. Just fire. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the enemy is going to shoot a Sam at us. They, So we know this is a Sam site. We can confirm they're now shooting SAMs at our UAV. So they obviously detected the UAV based on it firing an ATGM, but the enemy fighter is probably going to get to it first. So maybe we can take out some enemy tanks first. Nope, we can't. Uh, wait, where was that? Is there another SAM launch? Oh, just got destroyed by something. I didn't see what. Was it from the MiG-29? Yeah, R-77. Okay, so they wasted an R-77 on a UAV. I'm okay with that. What does that do to our score? Brings us down to negative 10. So apparently the UAV is worth 10. 
but we did detect that this is an enemy tank, and so there's a mechanized infantry platoon here as well. So, these two are ground units. We have precise locations for them, and this is FOB Harpy. Meanwhile, back here, SAM-427 is, uh, is it a spider? Spider MR. Derby Spider MR. So there's it's a spider SAM battery. What's the range on those guys? Go to the database. Spelling this wrong? Oh, I'm on an aircraft. Spider MR, Derby Spider MR. Its range is what? 7.5 nautical miles? That seems short. Seems like a very close in weapon system. Eighteen nautical miles here. Hmm. What's the range on a paveway? Eight nautical miles. So we'd have to be well in range. Probably hit the mechanized infantry with our paveways at standoff range so that we're outside of this Sam's envelope. So go ahead and remove and then go target these guys. The mechanized infantry platoon with your laser guided bombs. I'm assuming the MiG 29 is going to head the opposite direction. Who did I tell you guys to attack? You don't have anything to attack with. Did I tell this group to attack the, uh... Go ahead and return to base. MiG-29 there. So we'll have these guys streak in and hit that target. You guys still have 26 minutes of fuel. Assign units. Go attack those armored vehicles. So I'm going to try and take out these enemy mechanized formations, which remember are our target. The actual SAMs are not our target, just if they get in the way of us launching successful attacks, but the mechanized formations and the enemy infantry, those are secondary targets. The primary is the FOB. I don't think I can get too close to the FOB with my aircraft. I think they'll run into range of the enemy SAMs, but I, I'm, I'm thinking I might be able to bomb these enemy tanks and armored personnel carriers without getting in range. what these guys are. Also, I don't see anything down here, or my UAV's down here. We haven't picked anything up down towards Serpent. So let's just fire one more of our Tomahawks off, or hat us off, at that southern target. Either we should pick up... I think we did say we destroyed an Akatish down in the south, so either we'll pick up more enemy SAMs, or maybe we'll eliminate that FOB with a standoff weapon. My hope is that we drop and then fly south and parallel at extreme range of the SAM battery, so that way they don't get a, a good lock or chance to hit us. The 
Enemy MiG-29 is booking it, so he's not even trying to turn and engage us. We don't even have any long-range weapons. He just really doesn't want to fight us, I guess. Don't get too close. You should be good to drop now. Hello? Drop your damn weapon. What are you doing? Do you not have visual? Is that the issue? If you turn east at all. What are you engaging? You just flew over the target. No, do not fly that way. I'm not flying toward that enemy same battery. Unable to engage, unprecise. You don't have a precise target. Because you're not picking anything up, I guess. You gotta not fly that way. You're gonna get yourself shot down. Like, what the fuck are you flying out that way? You know there's a sand battery out that way. Also, you're telling me these enemy mechanized units that we just saw like a minute ago are that hard to find? You can't pick anything up with your infrared or anything? You don't have that much fuel left either. I don't understand like how you're supposed to ground targets seem very difficult to acquire in this game I mean maybe that's realistic but it always seems like it's a bit of a mess trying to like actually pick them up like, how long are you going to loiter there Nothing. I mean, they're there. We know they're there. Oh, there you go. So we've spotted them. Oh, laser guided bombs away on both targets. Looks like four bombs for each. So all our GBU paveways are gone. So you should be able to RTB as soon as. Alright, that southern unit's gone. Northern unit's gone. Alright, so good results, good hits, good hits. Two enemy units destroyed. That does give us five points each, so it brings us up to a zero score. You can see three BMPs destroyed, up to three enemy tanks destroyed now. And so this flight, which has no more munitions, except for sidewinders, is going to RTB. This flight coming up from the south. I'm wondering if we can hit FOB Harpy. Well, we know there's a SAM battery there. I don't know what's on the south. This cruise missile still headed that way. Is it worth trying to overwhelm the SAM battery with cruise missiles? Or do we try and strike it? I'm just worried we're going to get baited into being hit here. Shit. Air to air. Jump to location. Oh, shit. Are these Sams? Oh, that's a Sam. Well, you guys are RT being, so get out of there with afterburners. 
you guys are engaged defensive already. There's got to be another same battery around here. They're firing off a lot of fucking Sams, though. Makes you wonder how many they have. Active Seeker, they are closing. Okay, so they all missed. They might be firing at the northern group now. Go kill these fuckers. Nope. They're shooting at the southern group. So why are these guys engaged defensive if they're not being shot at? This has to be close to the maximum range for these missiles, though. They are turning to pursue. Two more missiles in the air. One of these is definitely a miss. Another miss. GBU's out. On the SAM. GBU also apparently out on the main target. Another Sam going up at the northern... Or are they going at the northern? Are they still going at the southern strikes? Oh my god. So many Sams. Three more in the air. Fuck. We took a hit. One of our, one of our F-16s is gone. Maybe two. Did we lose? No, we only had two in that group, so one's gone. Still designating on the target, and it's destroyed. So I don't know if these are heat seekers. It is turning toward me. It looks like this F-16 took some damage, too. Oh, fuck. We lost another one. So we lost two F-16s. We did destroy that northern target. But two F-16s is worth... 10 points each, I think, so we lost, we're at negative 5, we need to get to 40 to win. We only have 30 more worth of the primary targets. I don't know what these are. Well, the good news is we destroyed the northern target. It's going to be very difficult, though, to achieve our objective. Let's do this. Can we hit with two? We've got 12 missiles left. So I don't know what either of these targets are. I'm hoping they're tanks or something that we can just hit with cruise missiles. So this F-16 suffered some damage as well. One. Oh, I forgot completely about these F-16s chasing these MiG-29s. So they're up in the mountains in the north. All right, just about inside range. Missiles away. Just one? No, one at each of these targets. One at each of these MiG-20, or this MiG-29. And then I'm assuming two more at this other MiG-29. Just about inside the range of the enemies, although they did use at least one of their AA-12s against the UAV. So maybe they won't have a whole lot of them. 
You're going to turn back and snap fire for sure. At least one of these clones will. This is too far behind. It's already passed it before it even had a chance to acquire. The second one probably will acquire. Got him. All right, so one of the MiG-29 is dead. Ooh, that was a nice quick lock. Second one's dead too. All right, so we destroyed both of the remaining enemy MiG-29s. It doesn't give us any points, which is the frustrating thing here, because like right now it's like, oh, a minor defeat. But I mean, we shot down eight high performance enemy aircraft and we've lost two and a drone. That's a victory by my books in any stretch of the imagination, regardless of what the mission is. Plus, we did destroy one of the FOBs so far. We destroyed four Akish SAM batteries. We destroyed some spider SAM batteries as well. I mean, that's a that's a victory by any stretch of the imagination to me. RTB, RTB. All right, this Hadif is inbound on Serpent. Meanwhile, our uh, other Hadiths are also heading toward these targets. I'm going to need to destroy some more ground elements, though. To, to get a victory here. I don't know where those Hadiths are going. That's an interesting course. Must be Nap of the Earth. No sign of any new enemy fighters. That might be all they want to send up against us. We've got two hours and 23 minutes left in the scenario. Was that a hit on the target or was that a miss? Oh, it malfunctioned. Damn. All that dud, right? Oh, fuck. These guys reached bingo fuel. I thought it said... All right, how much fuel do these guys have left? Not a lot. I don't know that we're going to have enough to get them down to that southern target. I don't want to fly them straight over these. Not knowing what's out here. All right, so it looks like things have calmed down a little bit. Let's speed things up. The times five. I don't want to use my drone against this target because if there are any enemy Sams, they'll they'll shoot me the second they see my drone shooting. So those guys have reached bingo. But we at least crushed Indian uh, air power in the area. Alright, we've got 35 minutes to bingo. But we're going to be moving away from the target, from the base. I'm assuming bingo is calculated at our current location. So as we get further from the base, that calculation changes. We'll see. We'll need to launch another wave of aircraft, most of which I think that we have left are going to be JF-17s. I don't know how good those will be trying to avoid enemy. Sam's. Maybe we'll pick up with these, uh, these aircraft, what these enemy units are if they shoot back at us. So four incoming Hadiths. Three, three, and four. 
So these other three must be the northern question marks. So these, I guess these two? I thought there were three, but... Well, we got a hit on something. Look like, did they shoot down one of those missiles? Or they just missed? Nope, they're shooting shooting these guys down. One intercept. It's like two successful intercepts, maybe three. What do they shoot at them? SA threes. I should have done is bomb these guys. Whatever they are. We are at 24 minutes to bingo fuel. Cruising in here. Going to come out over this civilian airfield. We should be able to get a bomb off. And then get out of there. 4 GBU-12 paveways. drop. Oh, shit. Sam. Well, something immediately shot up against us as soon as we dropped our weapons. First one's a miss. Target not destroyed yet? That's all your GBUs, so get out of there. Mechanized infantry spotted, and then this is obviously a Sam. So... The target was damaged, was not destroyed. We know there's a SAM battery right next to it. We also know there's mechanized infantry. Meanwhile, it looks like those cruise missiles in the north did damage whatever is here. So what do we have left? We've got four Hadiffs left. Um, best use of our weapons? I'm gonna say one on this target. Probably gonna shoot it. Oh, it does look like we did some damage to Hydra. Some of them made it through. We'll at least chew through some of uh, the remaining Sams up here. All right, we're gonna fire all four at this northern set of targets. Our F-16s got their bombs out and it looks like they survived. What, what did the enemy even shoot at me? More spiders? Or pythons? What do we have left at this airfield? Anything? Got our attack helicopters. They could probably come in low, I would think, and maybe avoid enemy SAMs. These guys are all reserved. They're not gonna. All right, so let's do. This. Let's get our. Uh, let's get two sets of helicopters off here each. They're gonna take a bit of flight time to get down there. Do we want to use our JF-17s? What's the LT-2 LGB? Like, what's its range? Four nautical miles. So you got to be on top of your target. All right. We've got two JF-17s up. We'll go. So what's left of our Tomahawks are away... Still no sign of any new enemy aircraft.
JF-17s are going to come in to try and hit this mechanized infantry. We're going to come down as best we can to avoid getting close enough to that mobile SAM. Let's go ahead and attack these enemy... Uh, Mechanized infantry with our helicopters. That's that's their job, right? Is to take out those kind of targets. Time is 15 as everything starts getting airborne. Alright, so I think if we take out these two targets and then we can also take out the remaining two FOBs, then we win if we don't take any further losses. See what these guys do. Weapons incoming, all four. These are just three. One of them's coming north, I think. Damn. Oh, yes, we got it. The second one got through. One of them got shot down. The second one came through. Did we only get 10 for that, or were we still negative five? We need 40 to win. Second FOB destroyed. Need to knock out both of these guys. Let's see what this northern guy does. I thought it was 15 points per FOB, but maybe it was only 10. All right, so we destroyed that target. That gets us to 15. We're 25 away from a victory. That looks like it was a main battle tank. And these JF-17s, right? Yeah. So what's the right way to go after? Because the spiders are going to hit us. Like, that's what I don't know. These guys got to get so close. We could do mirages with low drag bombs on the deck. Let's engage whatever this target is with the um, JF-17s. I'm going to take my chances with the helicopters in the south. And maybe the mirages at the main target. I don't know. Bombs are out against enemy armor. Got it. All right, so the JF-17s did their job. RTB. What's this? Something else detected up here. Not sure what. So that gets us to 20. We're getting close. Destroyed two more enemy main battle tanks. Well, they didn't shoot at these JF-17s yet. So maybe we get two more JF-17s, or maybe four up. We'll go two. How many are they carrying each? How many bombs? I'm guessing these aren't enemy SAMs that they didn't shoot at me. Which means they're probably a target we need to destroy.
All right, target this mechanized infantry. Hopefully, the, I mean, they could have handheld uh, anti-tank weapons too. So they're each carrying two 500 kilogram laser guided bombs. Did I order another flight up? Or was it just the one? Let's get another flight of JF-17s up. Hell, let's get them all up. So they're cruising in at high altitude, <laughs> which, hey, maybe that's good. Maybe the spider, I, I didn't check to see what its altitude was. Shit, 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 shit. Slow down. Okay, well, <laughs> my helicopters just destroyed another enemy target. So we're up to 25. So that was more armored personnel carriers, I suppose. So do we, do we take the risk? Do we try and... Engage the enemy SAMs with our helos and also the tar primary target with our helo. Actually, let's just go for the SAMs. Maybe they come in low and the enemy can't see us. I I, I don't know. But we're going to see in a second. Really can't afford to lose anything else right now. We're coming in at 2,000 feet. It's JF-6, 17s are swooping in. You know what, the SAMs aren't, don't give me anything from a victory perspective. So if I can hover at extreme range and just pelt the base, maybe that's a better strategy. I don't know what the range... I would shoot my UAV, but I don't... I think the UAV has a lesser chance of inner, you know, avoiding the SAM than the uh, helicopter does. shooting ATGM it looks like they've got a lock got a hit they didn't destroy but they got good hits no indication of missile launches yet not finishing it off either using up their HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles. I'm curious if that's more like a tow or a hellfire. Oh, fuck. Well, there's one of the SAMs up. They damaged it. They didn't destroy it. And we lost a helicopter. Huh. The helicopters apparently aren't worth anything. We didn't lose any points. Is that like a cheat in the scenario? So we destroyed another one of the, the uh, SAM batteries, but they still have one by the looks of it left. No com. Got it. Okay. So that's good news, I think. So we lost one. No, we didn't lose anything. These helicopters don't count. That has to be a bug. Okay, so the Z-10s don't exist. Or maybe they were just damaged but not shot down. There's one there. 
two there. No, we definitely had one destroyed. Whatever, I don't care. All right, go finish off that Ford FOB. That shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. We just lost it. It was just delayed reporting. So it was crashing, but it hadn't crashed yet or something like that. Okay, so we're pounding the enemy fire firebase. I don't know how good HJ-10 anti-tank guided missiles are against these kind of bases. It looks like they also fired a whole bunch of 90 millimeter rockets at it. Either way, it doesn't seem like there's any uh, other enemy resistance. So I'm assuming the JF-17s that are going to come in here are going to finish it off if we don't if we run out of ammo here. All right, we're at score 20. I don't know if we can win, to be honest. What are we doing in the north? Oh, we finished off that other enemy base. Or enemy target. Still firing rockets at this base. Damaging ever so slightly. We've got some JF-17s coming in, right? Alright. I just don't know what the enemy has left. The targets that we get points for anyway. So is it really three aircraft is too much to win? One Z-10, or I guess four aircraft. One UAV, one Z-10, and two F-16s. That seems silly. You lose because you inflict... Whatever. All right, let's speed things up. Really? They didn't destroy it? Man, their laser got a bomb suck. How are we not finishing this bastard off? We have one other flight of JF-17, don't we? Yeah. Go hit them there. We'll use our uh, UAV to fire off two Barak ATGMs. See if that's good enough to finish what's left of the base. Doesn't want to shoot at it? Wrong target type? Oh, it needs a targeting pod? But if these guys should do the job. I'm hoping. We'll see. There we go. All right, so the target is destroyed. That puts us five shy of the pass score for this campaign this scenario all three FOBs destroyed eight enemy fighters destroyed nine main battle tanks nine troop transports I mean really losing four aircraft is the the fail threshold huh 
Because I don't think there's anything else for us to hit that we get points for. I assume these guys are all... We only have 36 minutes left in the scenario. Try and have some of these mirages go hit whatever's down here. But we don't get, it says you don't get points for destroying Sam's. We destroyed all the ground units around each of the reported Indian locations. Unless there's one we missed. Guess we'll find out. The only thought is, well, we, I think we destroyed three enemy ground units down here. It seems like there's generally three at each spot. We got three ground, we got three armored, three BMPs. And that's only two in each spot? I'm guessing this is just like another mobile Sam. Be great if it was something else. Although I may not have time to engage it. Yeah, they're not going to spot it and drop their bombs before we run out of time. So it says average, an average score, 35, but we didn't pass to move forward in the scenario. That's silly to me. I mean, big deal. We lost one helicopter, one drone, and two F-16s. In exchange, we destroyed four MiG-29s, four Su-30s. That by itself would be a victory in my books, but then you still destroyed the three FOBs you wanted to destroy. You destroyed nine enemy main battle tanks, nine enemy arm armored fighting vehicles, and some SAMs. Like, I know the SAMs technically aren't worth anything, but nine tanks and three Ford operating vehicle bases and nine AFVs? Uh, come on, man. Give me a break on that. Anyway, guys. That's going to do it for this first battle in uh, Kashmir Fire. I am going to consider this the losses and expenditure for the campaign um but I, I will probably go back off screen and uh try some um cheaper way to win this thing maybe just by destroying the fobs because you don't actually even need to hit out the enemy tanks and armor all you need or uh, fighting vehicles all you actually need to do to win is to destroy those three fobs and take no casualties so Maybe I'll do that, see if I can force the Tomahawks through or the ADFs through to see if we can destroy that so we can fight the next battle in the campaign. Let me know what your thoughts are of this DLC, though. Uh, you know, other than maybe some tweaked victory conditions on this scenario, it was an interesting one. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.